In 2013, Bosnia and Herzegovina stockpiled as many as 17,000 tons of surplus ammunition in its military storages, many of them old and chemically unstable. Kept in inadequate facilities and lacking proper documentation and management, the ammunition posed both a security and a safety threat. In order to address these growing threats, the Ministry of Defense of Bosnia and Herzegovina requested assistance from the international community to help it decrease its stockpiles and to bolster its capacities to safely and efficiently dispose of unsafe ammunition, as well as to effectively store and manage its remaining stockpiles. The United Nations Development Programme understood the importance of these issues and having received the necessary support of other key international actors in the country, committed itself to providing the requested assistance. The European Union recognized the same threat for the population and decided to put significant investment into a program. The issue of the remnants of war and uh, unexploded ammunition in, country, and, uh, in this country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, is a very serious problem since the end of the war. It represents a threat both in terms of security and safety for the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but also for the environment. And I would say it is a problem even for the region and for Europe in terms of security. And uh, that's how we started in 2013 the ably named Explode program. The project Explode is a project financed from the European Union in the of 4,6 million euros and is implemented in partnership between the Ministry of Defense of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Mission of OSCE in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Development Program of the United Nations. The project had three components, which it sought to implement through a number of activities. Disposal of surplus ammunition. Capacity development for ammunition disposal and management. Infrastructure upgrades. As a way of contributing to the ammunition disposal efforts in Trom, 15 ammunition specialists were hired to operate two new disposal machines to handle five stages of disposal and to manage processes in their entirety. Project EXPLODE worked in synergy with local and regional demilitarization capacities. As a result, small-caliber, conventional artillery, highly hazardous and complex system ammunition was disposed of in amounts well surpassing the initial plans. In addition to providing new machines and equipment, Project EXPLODE also provided practical recommendations to the Ministry of Defense on how to improve the disposal process and workflow at the Trom disposal facility, causing significant increases in the disposal rates. The project also engaged both the national defense industry and international partners to dispose of complex and highly hazardous ammunition. The sustainability of progress made, both in ammunition disposal and its storage, was secured by investing in the strategic education, training and networking of key personnel in the Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces, which directly contributed to their long-term career development. EXPLODE also developed firefighting plans for four storages and one demilitarization facility, after which 80 members of the armed forces were trained in safety drills. Finally, 10 armed forces personnel received training in manning a demilitarization machine, the Explosive Waste Incinerator. The efforts to decrease the amount of surplus ammunition were conducted hand-in-hand -hand with the efforts to ensure proper storage facilities for the remaining stockpiles. Ministry of Defense and the Armed Forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina, in close cooperation with UNDP and international partners, identified four ammunition and weapon storage sites, as well as the main disposal facility Trom in Doboj, as most urgently requiring infrastructure upgrades. Project EXPLODE undertook interventions at all five of these locations of strategic importance for ammunition stockpile management in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The upgrades included a variety of works, ranging from laying of anti-static floors and installation of anti-blast and panic doors to reconstruction of buildings, traverses and electrical, ventilation and drainage systems.
Between 2014 and 2016, through infrastructure works, both the risk of theft and unplanned explosions was significantly reduced in 72 facilities within the four storage locations and the ammunition disposal facility TRAM. In TRAM, worker safety was enhanced and workflow processes were optimized as well. Major landslide remediation works were particularly important, as they significantly diminished the threat posed to the safety of storage and disposal facilities by the surrounding terrain, thus also safeguarding environment and human lives. This was particularly important at the TROM facility as the main disposal site. Today's our studies are in a better state than they were before 3-4 years. U završnoj godini implementacija projekta Explode postignuti su dva značajna strateška cilja. Uništena je sva municija punjena bijelim fosforom, deklarisana od strane Ministarstva odbrne Bosne i Hercegovine kroz regionalnu saradnju u pogonima u Hrvatskoj i pokrenuti se aktivnosti na jačem uključivanju najminske industrije u Bosni i Hercegovini u procesima uništavanja viškova na uružanju. Ministarstvo obrane od ovoga projekta Explor u posljednjih evo tri godine imalo je više struke koristi, više struke benefite. Jedno, rješavali smo se viškova što je značajno doprinilo sigurnosti. Drugo, educirali smo značajan broj ljudi koji znaju upravljati i voditi računa o skladištenju, uništavanju, način na koji se vrši delaboracija i na koji način se prave dokumenta koji sve to prate. I treće, znači, izvršena je rekonstrukcija na značajnom broju lokacija. Truly significant strides have been made, but more remains to be done. We look forward to building on the successes achieved by Project Explode and meeting future challenges as we continue to work to ensure safety and sustainable development of Bosnia and Herzegovina.